Hello guys, you okay? I'm starting. All right, let's 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 start with um, so the today we're gonna go through this tutorial sheet, which is this one, right? Um, uh, the, the first two problems I have already done, I've already done them as part of the review session on on Tuesday. So um, so we are done question one and question two. Question three is a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit involved, so I, I would I wouldn't advise. Uh, I will not advise you to do question three. Right. So I, I will not advise you to do question three. So let's move on to question four. Right. So let's let's move on to question four. <coughs> Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see how we can do question four, guys. Um, I would appreciate it if more of you guys turn up for my classes. Not so many are coming up these days. Um, mm, all right, here we are. So this is this is. Um, Excuse me. Um, trying to focus my. Let me know if you can't see my writing. Okay, this is question. This is this is question four on the tutorial sheet, right? And uh, so the question four is. Uh, I'm sure you guys have a copy of the sheet with you. So you have a random variable X that has the PMF or the probability mass function equal to, is equal to this. It's equal to this where this K to the power minus S divided by this function, which is called the Zeta function and k goes from one to up to up to infinity. All right. So the first thing, so we need to we need to basically work out. Hello, by the way, can can you see my writing? Is that clear enough, guys? Not very clear. Oh shit. Um Is it, is it is it better now or not? Better now. Is is it better now or not? Can, can, yes. Okay. Good. All right. So the first thing you need the first thing you need to realize is the upper end point of F. Now remember the the way to determine the upper end point is to look at the domain, which. It goes from one to up to infinity. So the so the domain, uh, the largest point of the domain is uh, the largest point of the domain is plus infinity. So that your so your W of f is plus infinity. So what we need to work out is the limit. This limit as k goes to infinity of of the of the, the probability that x equal to k divided by one minus the CDF at k minus one. Okay. <coughs> All right, so this will be equal to the limit Okay, is the limit of this. Now you can write 
the CDF at K minus one as um, the probability that X is less than or equal to K minus one. Okay. All right. And um, if, if my writing is not clear or anything, please, please let me know. Okay, so this will be equal to the limit of the probability that x equal to k divided by uh, divided by the probability that x now one minus this is the same as saying the probability x is strictly greater than this, which is the same as saying that. Okay, let me write it like this for the moment. Now, if X is strictly greater than K minus one, it can take the values from K to infinity, right? So, so this will be the same as saying, Are you guys following me so far? If, you, if anything not clear, just let me know. Okay, just use the chat box or, uh, or, or your voice or your microphone just to communicate with me, all right? So this, uh, if, if you just came late, you're doing, um, you're doing um, question four from this tutorial sheet, okay? Okay, you see what I've done. I have written the probability that X is greater than X to K as the sum of the probabilities that X equal to I, I from K to infinity. Okay. All right, now in the next line, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the probability mass function, which is this one. I'm gonna replace the, this term and this term by the probability mass function. All right. <coughs> So you, this is what you will get, guys, if you do that. So I'm gonna replace this guy here by k to the power minus s. Okay. Okay, and also the same thing in the denominator. I'm gonna do the same thing here in the denominator. You see, you see what I've done, all right? Are you, are you, are you guys okay so far? Now, th this is a constant. The, the, the function, eta function is a constant. So you can cancel this out. Both these cancel out, right? So, so the only thing, so the only, so if these two cancel out, the only thing that remain uh, is, is the following. you have in the top, you have K to the power minus S and in the bottom, you have the sum from K to infinity of I to the power minus S, okay? So this is what you have, all right? Are you, are you okay guys so far? Okay, now, all right, let me, let me move to a fresh page. Um, all right, now, <coughs> so this is the, the, last, the last step, which I just written, okay? All right, the next step, I'm gonna carry on from this. Um, 
I'm going to use, I don't know whether you, you did this in your analysis course. If you haven't done it, you may recall it. Or if you, if you have a function like this, G, a function g of i, right, and you're summing from k to infinity, then it can be approximated by the integral from k to infinity of the function g, right? And this is, this is true if, if k goes to infinity under certain Under, cert under certain conditions. Under certain conditions. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. This is a property that you, you might have learned in, in your real analysis. Um, I know you, some of you did. <laughs> you must have done real analysis ages ago. Uh, maybe you forgot, but if you, if you, if you don't remember, just try to remember, try to try to remember this guys, okay? So basically it says that, basically it says that if you have a sum of a function G from K to infinity, you can replace it by, you can replace the sum by the, you can replace the sum by the, uh, the integral. So using this, you can, um, you, can you can replace this here, right, by the following. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna replace I'm gonna replace the summation here by an integral, right? Mm. Okay, all right. You see what I've done? Okay, all right. Now in the next, so let me take this away. Now in the next line, the integration of this is, is not difficult to perform. I'm sure all of you know better than I do how to do integration. So Okay, this is this is the limits of integration. This is the integral, and you take the limits from k to infinity. Okay. All right. Now, okay. Let's um, the limit at infinity is zero, the limit at k is gonna be, is gonna be, it's gonna be this provided, provided uh, that one minus s is less than zero. Otherwise, you see, if, if one minus not is not less than zero, then you cannot say that the limit is in, limit is zero at infinity. So I need to assume that one minus s is a negative number for, for the limit at infinity to be equal to zero, right? All right, so this becomes the limit as k goes to infinity of s minus one divided by k, right? And this is of course equal to zero. So the limit, so what we have shown is that the We have shown that the extremal types theorem does hold, All right? It does hold, right? The question is, which which of the three limits? I mean, that I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to do that now, but and and I will not uh, ask you that in the exam either. But the question is uh, now is you need to check. You need to go back and check. 
conditions um, conditions one to three. You, you remember these conditions one to three to see to see um, which uh, limit will be attained. Okay. All right. So this completes. Uh, unless you guess, I mean, are you are you guys okay with this? Uh, this completes question four in the tutorial sheet. Are you okay with this? Or, 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 or no? any question, just feel free to any, feel free to ask me, guys. <coughs> Hello. You guys talking to me, please. Can you talk to me, please, guys? I just want. Are you okay? Any questions on 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 this on this thing I have just done? Okay, it just okay. Good. All right. Can you do the next one, please? The next one is question five. Question five on the tutorial sheet. Um, so, um, I'm sure you know where it is. You, you know, question five. So, if, um, um, sorry, excuse me, USB camera, um, share screen. Uh, here we are. So this this is question five. Can you try and do please? Um, so you have you have a random you have a random sample from you know, from this distribution, and again, it's asking you to check whether extremal types theorem holds or, or not, right? I, I'll give you like a couple of minutes and see if you can. I mean, it's similar. It's similar to the. It's similar to the question that I just did. It's not not too difficult, right? If you just came late, I mean, I'm just doing question five on the tutorial sheet, right? Um, I mean, after after the tutorial, I will post the solutions. I mean, there will be, uh, if you go to my course website, you will see there are four types of, there are four types of solutions for each, uh, each tutorial. There will be the handwritten solution, there will be the typed solutions, and uh, and there's the, the video solutions and so on. Yes, Jun Fang. Yeah, having a non-degenerate limit, it means it must satisfy ETP. Yes. Yes, yes, Jun Fang. Yeah, that's you're right. Yeah. Feel free to ask more questions if you have. Um, mm 
All right. So let's let's see how we can do question five. Okay. And let me know once again if if my uh, are you able to see my writing clearly? If if not, please let me know. Okay. Uh, yes, you can, yeah, you can write fk minus fk minus one is equal to the probability is equal to k, you're right, yes, you can. The answer is yes. So you have a random variable with the, with the PMF given by this and the PD the CDF given by this, where where k goes from one to infinity. So k goes from one to up to infinity, all right? And the question is is does the ETT hold? That's the, the question is does Okay. So first, the first thing you must realize is the upper end point of F, because you should look at the, the domain of the distribution, it goes from one to infinity. So, so this must be equal to plus infinity, all right? <coughs> okay, guys. So, so what you need to work out, what you need to work out is the limit of the probability that x equal to k divided by one minus the CDF at k minus one as k goes to infinity. All right. All right. So that's what I will do right now. Now we have, this is the PMF which is already given to us, right? And the CDF is also given to us, which is this one. All right, so this is going to be equal to Right. This is the the the, the probability of equal to k, and then is one minus the CDF at k minus one, which is going to be one minus one minus log base two of k plus one divided by k. All right. You guys with me so far? If, if anything not clear, please feel free to talk to me. The, the one and the one cancel out, all right? And the minus minus becomes plus. So this becomes yeah. You guys okay? So this is gonna be minus log of two. This one, yeah, I'm gonna write it like as follows. All right, like this, All right, and in the in the in the in the denominator, I'm gonna write like.
k plus 1 divided by k. Yeah. You, you guys following me or what? Yeah, good. All right. Okay. Um, uh, so this is going to be the limit as k goes to infinity of I mean, I will post ev or everything I'm writing down now, I will, I will post it online after the class. So you don't need to worry about having to copy or anything because I will, okay. So this will be, all right. And in the bottom, you have log. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And in the next line, I'm going to use the fact that log of a ratio is the difference of the logs. Yeah. I'm sure you know that. So it's going to be the limit as k goes to infinity. Um, goes to infinity now, excuse me. Um, the, the top guy here, you can write like, you can write like this minus log base two of k squared plus two k. And and then you have plus two log base two of, of k, k plus one, All right? That's for the, for the top. For the, for the bottom, you can write it like log base two of, of k plus one minus log base two of, of k, all right? You follow what I've done so far. Any questions? <coughs> All right. Now, in the next step, if go, as k goes to infinity, this goes to infinity, 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 infinity. So you have infinity divided by infinity. So what you need to use now is the is the famous L'Hopital's rule. You see. Uh, so I'm trying, so I will use the, in the next line, I'm going to use the L'Hopital's rule. But before that, you need to know something. This is, this is the calculus, I'm sure you've done this in first year. When you, when you differentiate log, right? When you differentiate log of x with respect to x, what do you get? You get one divided by x, right? But here you have log of a. You have your a, the power is to a, a, the log of x to the base a. And this is the formula for this. If you don't know this, is this. Uh, this is the this is the this is the formula for. If you don't know this, you may want to not note this down. That is, if yeah, if you're differentiating log of x to the base a, that's the same as this one, right? Okay. All right. That's uh, if you don't know this, you may want to make you may want to. Not it down, okay. Um, <coughs> so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the 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 Lapitol's rule. Sorry, I'm gonna use the Lapitol's rule right right now. Okay, so so I'm gonna use on this line here. I'm gonna use the Lapitol's Lapitol's rule, right? So. If you do that, this is what you will get. Limit as k goes to infinity. I 
I'm gonna I'm gonna differentiate this with respect to k, 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 right? All right. So so you got quite a few differentiations. So you get you get you get this. And that's this is what you will get in the top. In the bottom, you will get one. Okay, this is what you get in the bottom. You follow me. What I, you guys follow? What I've done? I have differentiated each of these terms, four terms, using the using the following fact: that is, uh, uh, the derivative of this with respect to x is equal to this. Yeah. Okay. So so this is what you will get. You see, the all these things are gonna cancel out. All right, because they are all common factors. Right. So, so this will become, if anything not clear, please, please talk to me. Okay, use the chat box. Oh yeah, infinity minus infinity is undefined, yeah. So that's why I'm using the Lapidus rule because it's undefined on both sides, yeah. Um, Okay, so now you get yeah, in the top, in the bottom you get You get this, yeah. This is okay. Are you guys following me so far? So this is what you get <clears throat> after simplifying this. This is what you get, <clears throat> and then um, <coughs> sorry. This is the limit as k goes to infinity. All right now this simplifies quite a bit it simplifies quite a bit to the following two minus 2k okay all right and then this will this will simplify to You pull out two as a common factor, right? And you will get the following. You get k plus two in the in the denominator. In the numerator, you get this. You get this, right? Right, and in the next line you get the limit as k goes to infinity of two times this you can expand if you expand this and subtract this you will get one divided by k plus two right and the limit of two of this is clearly equal to zero. So, so the limit, once again, the limit here is equal to zero. So the conclusion is that 
the conclusion is that the extremal types theorem will will hold but once again you will need to check <clears throat> i'm not going to ask you to do that you need to check conditions to see which Okay. <coughs> All right, guys. So this completes question five. Any, any, anything not clear? Any, uh, uh, do you have questions on like, so anything not clear about this, guys? Victor, are you okay? Is there anything not clear about this? Yeah. Anything you like to ask about it? Are you guys okay? Hello guys, is clear? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sue. All right, the next question is question six. Question six is a little too difficult. So I will, I will go to question seven, which is the final question. Actually, question seven is very, very similar to the quiz two problem. So maybe, maybe if I do it, it will, it will help you to do quiz, quiz two. So question is, so question six is too hard, all right? I will skip question six. So the next one I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how, I mean, I think this is very, I know it's cheeky, but this is, um, This is question seven. Question seven is very similar to the to the uh, quiz problem I gave you, right? Okay. So the, so here you're given x is a random variable with with CDF given by given by this. Yeah, where, 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 uh, all right, where Q is between zero and one, and A is, uh, A is a positive number, and X goes from uh, zero, one, etc. So, so the first thing you must figure out is the the first thing you must figure out is the um, W of F. Clearly W of F is the, W of F is the largest point of the support of the domain, I mean here. The domain is from zero, one, two, et cetera. So the, so, so the W of F is, is plus infinity, <coughs> right? Now, so what you need to work out is the limit of the probability that x equal to k okay all right now to work this out you are given the cdf which is equal to this but you're not given the prob probability mass function which is the prob now I, I don't know you, you, you should know this from probability one, which you, uh, did you guys do probability one, I guess, long time ago, right? You should remember, one of the things you should know is that, okay, let me write this down. If, If X is an integer value random variable, then the probability that X equal to K is equal to probability is equal to the difference 
yeah so this is this is one of the result i think you should know this if you don't know this try to remember this in the future right this is the this is well known result if you have any disk integer value brand variable then this this is true right okay so i'm gonna use this i'm gonna use this to work out Okay, you see what I'm done. Okay, now now we know everything. All right, so this is going to be the limit. Right. Okay, now FK is, we know what FK is. We know FK minus one. So everything we know, we know everything. So, so let's see. So this is going to be one minus q uh, k plus one to the power a, yeah. And then f k minus one is going to be okay like this. like this all right Are you with me guys the the one and and the one here cancel out the one and the one here cancel out all right so so this is gonna be the limit as k goes to infinity of Yeah. Okay, like this, all right. Now this, these two are the same. So this, so this is gonna be the limit. As k goes to infinity. Right, so it's going to be one minus Q yeah all right okay so <clears throat> this is are you guys okay with uh, you following me so far or what <coughs> Yeah, any questions so far, guys? You okay? All right, okay. Now, now, I mean, the rest, the, the difficult part is already done. So the rest of the calculations are, is not, are not difficult at all, really. So basically now is, is all you have to do is to uh, put the limit, you can, one is a constant, so you can take the limit inside. So you can write it as one minus. Um, so just give me a sec, one minus. Um, you can write this as this one minus the limit. Okay, goes to infinity of Q. I'm gonna I'm gonna write this guy here. Um, as All right, I'm gonna write like this. You see what I've done? I have written, I have written, I have written this term here in this, in this term, right? As, as this, yeah. 
they are the same okay so so this is going to be one minus the limit as k goes to infinity of q like this okay right okay now remember that k is going to infinity that means if k goes to infinity one over k will go to to zero right so as k so as k becomes larger and larger one over k is going to become smaller and smaller so what you have here is a one plus a term that goes to zero so one plus a term that goes so this is where i don't know whether you know this you must have done this i mean i'm, I'm not being patronizing but do, do you know there's a series do you know this result guys like if if x if x is a number that is very close to zero then you can write one plus x to the power a as the sum of as this and this is known as the this is known as the binomial The binomial series. I, I don't know. I think you must have done this a long time ago. You must have done this like in your first year or I don't know when. But <coughs> all right. So it's known as the binomial series, right? So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the binomial series for to this term here, one plus one over k to the power a. All right. So this will become one. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the All right, you see what I've done. I have used the, the binomial series to, to this term here, right? So you get you get this, right? <coughs> so, so you have one minus the limit Now the first term, the first term of the binomial series is when, when i equal to zero. When i equal to zero, what you get is one. The second term of the binomial series is when i is equal to one. When i is equal to one, you get a divided by k. And the third term of the binomial series is when i is equal to two. When i equal to two, you get, you will get this term. right and so on so what i have written down here are the first three terms the first three terms of the binomial series take away take away one you need to take away this one here and the one here will go out with the one here right it, and it looks complicated but these are kind i mean this is binomial series i'm sure you've done this before is it so you must be something you must be familiar with this kind of stuff all right so so this become one minus the limit 
k goes to infinity of q uh, k to the power a now you only you can ignore this term here because as k goes to infinity you only need to look at the leading term the leading term here is a divided by k And the, and the other terms you can ignore because they will go to zero much faster. So the only term you need to worry about is this term here, a divided by k. So, so this multiplied by this. So, so we are nearly done. So this is gonna be one minus the limit as k goes to infinity of q a k to the power a minus one okay all right so this is the the result that we have but now we need to because <coughs> we need to give an explicit answer we need to consider three different cases basically we, we need to consider first of all the case where a is greater than one, the case where a is equal to one, and the case where a is less than one, right? Now, if a is, if a is strictly greater than one, then a minus one will be a positive number. So when k goes to infinity, this, this guy here will go to infinity. So, so what you will have is one minus Q to the power A times infinity. But Q is a number between zero and one. So this has to be equal to one. Do, 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 you, do you follow what I'm saying? Because if you, if, you, if you power any number between zero and one to infinity, you will get zero. So you get one minus zero, which is one. Okay, now if a equal to one, if a is equal to one, then this guy here is zero. And k to the power zero is one. So in this case, the limit will be one minus q, right? And finally, if a is less than one, if a is less than one, then a minus one is negative, right? And um, infinity to a negative power is zero. Okay, so, so this will be one minus q to the power zero, if a is less than one. Okay, and which is q to the power zero is one. So this would be one minus one, and this would be zero. So this is the, so the, the limit I don't know whether you got my argument. The limit will be different depending on whether A is greater than one or equal to one or less than one. So if A is greater than one, the limit is one. Then A is equal to one, the limit is one minus Q. And when A is less than one, the limit is zero. All right? You, you guys follow me or not? Hello guys. Yes, I hope <laughs> I hope you, I, I didn't take um, too much of your analysis. Uh, all right, all right. So the conclusion for this question, which is the last question of the tutorial sheet. So I will finish it right now. Let me let me finish this now. So the conclusion is that the ETT ETT uh, fails a is greater than or equal to one all right it, it fails to hold if a is less greater than or equal to one and the ETT uh, holds it holds only only if a is less than one So it, it, it holds only if A is less than one. So in the case, so if A is less than one, 
if a is less than one, then <coughs> uh, then then check um, conditions. one to three. To see if which limit. All right, guys, so that completes the, the final question of the tutorial sheet. So I hope, I think I've already given you too much hint on how to do quiz two, I think, because I think this kind of basically answers you how to do quiz number two, which is due next Tuesday, I think. Yeah, next Tuesday, yeah. So it, as you can, do, do you have questions on this, guys? Hello guys, any questions? Just use uh, so uh, I will so after after this class I will I will post uh, four different solutions for the tutorial sheet as I always do. So there will be the handwritten solution, there will be the typed solutions, there will be the video solution. Uh, all right, and also there will also be the the video of the of the tutorial. Okay, all right, all right, guys. So, are you guys okay? Um, <coughs> all right. So, so um, is there any any questions you like to you like to ask me about? Uh, about the course or about anything else you want to yeah i mean is the course going uh, thank you by the way thank you for everybody who completed the week three sorry the week two feedback i think it was all almost all positive i think i wish most of i wish more of you had filled in there was only like only about 30 people filled in which is not a lot anyway Maybe next time, maybe next time you can, you guys can complete more. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So have a good weekend and any questions, just contact me 24 seven by email.